Hi, my name is Sajan Suman and let's take a look at another new feature added to Dynamics 365. Packing picked items is a vital process in every warehouse outbound operations. So far, in D365, the packing operations could only be performed from the rich client and there was no option to perform picking operations using mobile devices. This lack of flexibility resulted in packing operations becoming bottlenecks in the warehouse flow in higher volume shipping warehouses. With this new feature, we can increase the efficiency in packing areas and to better support the packing and shipment of larger items, the Dynamics 365 Warehouse Management Mobile App provides a mobile packing experience that gives workers the freedom to move around while they perform their packing activities. This new feature enables packers to create containers used for packing using a mobile device. Once containers are created, we can pack the items in the containers using mobile devices. And finally, using the mobile devices, packers can close the container once packing is completed. Now let's take a look at this feature in Dynamics 365 and all the details around it. Hi. We are now in Dynamics 365 and let's take a look at how this functionality works. So I will go to sales and marketing and all sales orders. I will find a sales order which is released to warehouse. So here we have a sales order number which is ending with 43. And this sales order we are selling this item for 110 pieces. We can see the release status is released. So that means it has been released to warehouse and a picking work is created. Now let's take a look at the picking work by clicking uh, the warehouse drop down and selecting work details. And here we can see we have a work number 209 in which we need to pick uh, one pallet. You can see from here from uh, this location and bring it to the pack station. So as a warehouse worker, let's first complete the picking from the warehouse tracking. This is my mobile device, the warehouse app. I will log in as a warehouse worker. I will go to outbound and I will use the sales picking list to complete my picking operations. Here I can see the mobile app is displaying the same work with work number 209, which is same as this work and it is displaying the same information. I will select the work to mark I have started. So now you can see locked by field is by my signature user ID. That means I'm working on this work and it is in status in process and I am on step number one. So I want to system want me to pick this item one pallet from this location and it wants me to scan the pallet which I'm picking. So I would scan the pallet. Oh, that's the wrong selection. So it is LP27. And I will keep the target license plate the same. And now system wants me to put the picked pallet to the pack station. So now if you refresh the dynamics, you can see the picking work is closed and now I am at the final step. So I will drop the pallet at pack 01 location, deliver to put location and confirm. Work completed. So warehouse worker has completed the work and if you refresh now in dynamics, the warehouse work is closed. Now, once this is done, uh, the items or the pallets are moved <clears throat> to the pack station and now the packing operations can be started. Now in this new feature uh, in which we can do the packing using mobile devices, I would like to show you the setups we need to do uh, to uh, do the packing operations. So I would go to warehouse management 
and I would navigate to mobile device menu items and I would like to show you the new menu items which I have created for the mobile packing options so these are the four mobile options I have created the first one is create container you can select this by using activity code create container and this can be used to create containers in which you will do the packing the second one is pack containers so this mobile device menu item would be uh, can be uh, created by selecting activity code pack inventory into containers in this mobile device you need to select a packing policy id if you click or you do the view details i have created a packing uh, policy id mobile pack and here i don't want system to capture the uh, tracking dimensions while i start the packing i want to scan the shipment the other option available is you could uh, do uh, license plate uh, selection so it's an optional thing i have set it up for scanning shipment and uh, in the item selection what do you want your packer to do do you want him to scan each and every item he is packing then you select this option if you want to pack all the items in the shipment or the license plate then you select this option okay and these two options are only available if you select pack all remaining items because then there is nothing more to do and you can close the container so i will keep it complex we will scan the item which we are doing packing for so once you create the mobile device container packing policies you select it in the packing policy id field over here the third option is close container once the packing is done you would close the container and this can be created by activity code container closing and last an optional a feature is a container deletion you could delete containers if they are created by mistake and the activity code is container deletion right so these are the four menus which uh, are to be created to start the mobile packing and then uh, you need to add them to your mobile menu uh, so that they are visible on your mobile devices so in the mobile device menu section i have added them in the packing mobile menu so create pack close delete i've done them in the sequence in which they are done so first i will create containers then i will pack items then i will close the container and optional thing to delete if i want to delete anything the same option is available in my mobile device over here as packing and you can see it displays the four options now on the mobile device so now I am the packer, I have my mobile device in my hand and I need to pack the license plate which was just picked by my colleague, the warehouse worker. Now if I go to warehouse management and if I go to all shipments, we will find the shipment which was created for our sales order and in this case it is shipment number 91 and you can see this is the item and 110 pieces. It is in in process state because picking is completed and now we need to do the packing so this shipment i am going to do the packing for so i would go to create container so i will start the uh, packing process and the first thing uh, the mobile menu will ask the packer is what is the packing location where you are doing the packing now keep in mind this location should be same as the final put location of your work so for my this shipment if we look at shipment and uh, if we look at the work details you remember we dropped my picked items on pack station pack 01 so i need to make sure i am doing the packing on the right pack station otherwise you cannot pack if you want to change the pack station you could use the detour which I have explained in a previous video. Uh, look up packing stations. So this will show you other options available. So you could select this, click OK. And then you have two pack stations available, pack one, pack seven. If you want to do packing on pack seven, you can select pack seven. But in my case, I want to do packing on pack zero one. So I will select pack zero one. So I will click OK. 
The next thing system will ask me, what is the shipment ID for which you want to do the packing? And now you have two options. If you have paper documentation, you could scan the shipment ID uh, and start uh, the container creation, or you could use the D2 functions on the mobile device and find it in the mobile itself. So I will not use scanning. I have lookup shipment D2 created over here. I will click and then I will see all the shipments which are available. And then I would select the shipment number 91. This is the shipment for which I want to do the packing. So click OK. Now, the next option system will ask is, what is the container type in which you are going to do the packing? So we have selected the location, we have selected the shipment to which, for which I am going to create the container and now what type of container you want to create. So again, you could type it or you could scan the containers, but if you do not use pre-configured containers, then you can again configure a D2 lookup container type. And then I can see all the containers available in my organization in which we do packing euro pallet, plastic container, plastic PL, zip, or wood pallet small. So in this case, I will use euro pallet because I'm doing packing on a euro pallet and I will click OK. And now finally, what is the container number? If you use containers which have a unique barcode with the, their unique number, you could scan the barcode or you could manually enter the container number. The third option is you can let system give a unique container number based on a number sequence. So I will give it a container number which is container 07. So that is the number of the container in which I'm going to do the packing and work completed. So we got the message that a container has been created and this completes the create container step. Now, if you go to warehouse management and uh, if you go to packing and containerization, and look at the containers. We can see I have a new container which is container 07. It is open and it is linked to my shipment. So using the mobile device, I just created a container which previously could only be created using Bridge Client. So now I have created a container. The next step is to do the packing. So next option is pack containers. So I will now start the packing. And again, the first point is, what is the packing lo location on which you are doing packing? So I would say pack one, because that is the pack station where I'm doing the packing. Now scan the shipment, again, the same step, which shipment, uh, for which shipment you are going to do uh, the packing. So I will look up for the shipments using detour. And I will select my shipment number 91. So this is the shipment for which I want to do packing and now scan item. Now this is coming from the previous setup which I had shown you on the mobile packing policy that I had done a setup that system should uh, ask me to scan the item so that my worker is scanning the barcodes of the item to make sure we are not doing any mistakes while packing. So on the mobile packing policy and uh, uh, it was on the warehouse management and you have mobile devices container packing policies at this place we had done the setup select item to pack now this is the reason why the mobile device is asking me to scan the item okay so i will go back to my container and now you can see this container does not have any item so we will now pack I will scan my item barcode, which is this value. So now the system has selected the item and now it wants me to scan the container inside which I'm doing the packing. So I would scan my container, which is container 07. Work completed. And now the packing is done. That means that means that item is now packed inside this container. Now let's refresh Dynamics and we can see it is still in open state, but the item details or container content section is updated. We can see now it displays that inside this container, we have this item with 110 pieces. 
And the last step, which is very easy, using the same mobile device, we are now going to close the container, right? So close container. And over here, it's very simple. You just scan the container, which you want to close. So mobile device, uh, you would do this step once you are completely done with the packing for a container and you would just scan the container ID, which would close the container. So scan container to close. Our container number is cont07. And now, as part of the uh, closing process, system wants me to do the manifesting, uh, which used to happen from the rich client. So what is the weight of the container? So I would select the unit kilograms and I can enter the weight value for this, which is 110 kilograms. So the manifesting can also be done while you are doing the closing. Work completed. And now you see this is open. If I refresh, the container is closed. And the shipment is loaded because this was the only item we were selling in this shipment. So this is how easy it is to now do the entire packing functionality. Keep in mind the manual packing functionality using mobile device such as create, pack and close. You can also delete containers. There is a lot more we can add to this uh, functionality by using D2s as I have shown you. And also you could incorporate label printing uh, which is a new feature as part of uh, mobile device packing. So for now, this video was aimed at giving a quick overview on how the new packing functionality is mobilized. In further videos, I will try and detail out and expand the demo to showcase label printing and uh, the other enhancements linked with the packing functionality. I hope you liked the video and this was helpful. Uh, please share your thoughts and your questions and comments uh, uh, in the video comment section. Thank you all.